Hi guys, this is Anvesha Goswami, your digital account manager and as promised, I am back with another very interesting episode and I am back with a bang as you can see. So in today's episode, we will talk all about breaking and today's episode is all about breaking with Hilti. So in this episode, I am going to take you through this big boy here we have the Concrete Breaker TE3000 AVR. Then we are going to see what all accessories come with this tool whenever you are ordering a TE3000 AVR. After that, very briefly, I'm going to walk you through uh, our breaker's portfolio and what all applications we can see at our job sites with which concerns breaking. And towards the end, we are going to talk a bit about the services that you are entitled to whenever you make a purchase of Hilti Breaker. So without wasting much time, we are going to start with our today's video. Now, as you saw me running a breaker today, which is the 30 kg class concrete breaker we have and it's called TE3000 AVR. Now let's start today a very common misconception that we have in the construction market these days. So people say whenever they need a breaker of more power or they need to break a break, uh, break, do a breaking job which requires breaking of concrete of very high grade, then pneumatic jackhammer or maybe a diesel jackhammer is a better option that electric, than electric breakers. But let us break this myth together right here today. Now the breaker you saw me operating a while ago, this is our T3000 AVR concrete breaker in 30 kg class. And you know what guys, this tool right here is actually giving a single impact energy of 85 joules. That is quite unmatched in the market right now, isn't it? Let me know in the chat box below. In the meanwhile, we'll talk a bit about this tool. Now, 10 minute ka episode bahut kam hai actually to talk about what all features this tool is giving. But I'm going to give you three reasons why you are going to leave your current breaker at your job site and go with this big boy. Number one, as the name suggests, T3000 AVR. What is this AVR? So AVR stands for Active Vibration Reduction. Now what's that? So this technology enables the tool to give minimum vibration to its user. It re reduces the effective vibration that the tool causes. So what happens? The user gets the least amount of fatigue while using this tool. Now a worker who is using a breaker day and night at your job site will obviously give greater productivity if the vibration of the tool reduces. Now you be a better judge yourself that what this tool is capable of. Let's move on to number two. Now, as I already said, the weight of this tool is actually unmatched. If I can operate it, you're sure, you surely can. This tool weighs 27 kgs, that's under 30 kg, and giving an equivalent and in fact more power than other pneumatic jackhammers. Let's talk about number three. Pair this breaker with our ultimate TEH chisels, which are specially designed to withstand the impact of this tool. And not only that, now changing ch chisels is a lot easier with the quick chuck release technology. That is, the chisels can be now changed very easily and very quickly at your job site. So this was a bit about the tool. Now I'm sure you want to see this tool physically for yourself at your job site. If you do, please raise a demo request today itself. You can write to me, comment in the chat box below, or even visit our website www.hilti.in and raise a demo request. We will get back to you or the account manager who is designated for your account will get back to you as soon as he can. Now let's uh, move on to the accessories that you get when you order a T3000 AVR kit. Now there are a lot of options available of the kit. There is a very basic kit and then there are very uh, big kits where you get more accessories. Now I'll give you a, an idea of the basic kit that you, uh, I mean, 
the basic components that you get whenever you are ordering a T3000 AVR breaker. So you get a set of chisels that I already said that uh, TEH ultimate chisels that are specially designed for this tool. Then you get a grease, you get a manual and you get an extra pair of supply cords. And then obviously you have the tool that you just saw. Now, why do we give extra supply cords that I will be telling you towards the end of this episode and for those who watched my last episode are already guessing it right. Now guys, uh, one more thing which quite surprised me about this tool is the safety feature of this tool. Now, as you saw, this tool is kept as it is here. It will not operate if I press this button. But if I press the handle and press this button, then only this tool will operate. Now, what will this, what will this do? This will ensure the safety of your workers at your job site and the tool can be kept anywhere and however it can be kept. And you know what? In the latest kit of TE3000 AVR, our big boy, you also get a trolley so that you get easy movement of the tool anywhere at your job site. So this was a bit about the tool. Now, as I said, raise a demo request if you want to witness the power and magic of this tool for yourself. Now, guys, let's talk a bit about the applications what we see at our job sites. Now, in a nutshell, widely, the braking applications can be categorized into two parts. There is light duty braking and there is heavy duty braking. Now, if we talk about light duty braking applications, my electrical contractor friends can relate very well that sometimes there are applications such as making channels for conduit fixing. My civil contractor friends can very well relate. There are applications like surface smoothening, surface hacking or uh, light chiseling and much, much more. Now, moving on to heavy duty braking applications, there is floor braking, there is wall braking, in big demolition uh, sites there are big braking, my infra contractor friends can relate that there are many a times road braking which involves braking of concrete of very high grade, in those cases we use heavy duty breakers. Now here you can see we have kept a number of breakers that we have in our portfolio. Now the Heavy duty breakers, if we talk about the heavy duty breakers, we have these three big brothers, the 1000, 2000 and my, my personal favorite, the 3000 AVR. Now, as you can see the design of these tools, these are specially designed for downward braking applications. Now, for light duty braking applications, we have TE800, we have TE700 and then we have TE500 for chiseling and light uh, surface smoothing kind of applications. Now, as you can see the design of this tool, these tools come with a D handle so that these tools can be used for overhead or maybe sideward braking applications. Now, this was a bit about uh, our portfolio and I went through very uh, through these uh, tools very briefly. Now, if you want to know in much more detail, last year during this time, we have had a similar episode on breaking done by Akash Chaudhary. Please refer to that video. The video is available on our Facebook as well as YouTube channels. So, this was a bit about the breakers portfolio and the applications we see uh, of breaking at our job sites. Now, guys, my friends who are doing breaking at their job sites, they can many very much relate to this. What is that one thing that we always look out for whenever we do breaking? Let me know in the chat box below. In the meanwhile, I'll tell you. It's repair. That's right. Last month in my episode, I took one uh, complaint or review that we received that was specifically on the repair of TE1000. Now, uh, as I said during the starting of this video, that we give extra supply cords with our breaker kits. Now, why do we do that? So, as I already said in my last video, 20% of breaker breakdowns are happening due to faulty supply cords. 
So many a times it happens that the breaker is being sent to the repair center and the breaker does not have any issue, but the only issue lies with the supply cord. So the only thing you need to do is you change the supply cord, fix a new one, and if the tool is still running, then you end up saving those extra four to five days that are lost due to the uh, due to sending the tool to the center and then receiving it back. So that was one. And another very important thing is, so the T3000 that I was talking about, this tool comes under our two year no, co no repair cost warranty. That means for two years, we won't charge you a penny for the repair of this tool. And the tool is picked up and dropped at your job site anywhere in the country, irrespective of your city of purchase, free of cost throughout the tool's lifetime. And that is not the case with this tool, but with all our breakers and all our Hilti tools as well. So guys, this was a bit about the breaker repair services. There is a lot more, trust me. And if you want to know more, refer to my previous videos or write to me. I'll tell you what all services you are entitled to. So guys, in uh, interest of time, this was all for today. Uh, we saw our big boy in action today. And guess what? I'll be back again this month. And that episode will also be on breaking. And I'll not be alone. I'll be accompanied by our product manager for breaking portfolio, uh, who is the topic expert on this. And we'll be covering a bit on the myths and misconceptions we have on breaking and we'll be clearing in that episode, those in that episode. Also, I'll tell you that if you have anything you want to be addressed or if you want to share stories, let me know. I'll cover in my next episode. If you really like the video, hit the like button, comment in the comment section, share the video with your friends, your colleagues and do write to me so that I can come up with better videos in my next episodes. See you soon. Stay tuned. Good day.